Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, first thing real quick, if I provide you value and you get some value out of this video and you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you love it, if you're like, yes, this tells me why I needed to know, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep giving you more. Okay, so let's talk about pawn shops. How much are they going to give you for a diamond ring, right? Uh, you go, you have this diamond ring, maybe it's an engagement ring, maybe it's a solitaire, maybe it's a whole set, and you have this and you're like, okay, uh, I have this appraisal and this appraisal says it's worth $10,000 and I got a deal at it, on it at the jewelry store and I got it for $7,900. How much will a pawn shop give me for it? Well, you know, I gotta tell you, pawn shop doesn't really care about those two numbers. They don't care what you spent on it new uh, and they don't care what an appraisal says because it doesn't have anything to do with what the ring is actually worth right now. You know, um, just real quick about the, the jewelry industry, um, I have some things I need to explain before we go any further because I want you to understand the numbers. Uh, a jewelry, let's take a jewelry store, let's say it's a mall uh, store, let's say it's like an Ashcroft and Oak or something like that. You know, they're in this big mall. Do you know how much rent is in the malls? They're, you know, $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month, $25,000 a month or more. All right, and when you're in the business of selling jewelry, that means just to cover the rent, they have to make $25,000 in profit a month. Just to cover the rent. And then you have all the employees and they have to pay them. And they usually work on commission. So let's say you have another $25,000 in labor, you know, to pay people to come in every day and sell your jewelry. So now you're up to $50,000 a month this jewelry store has to make just to break even. Uh, and I'm not talking about selling $50,000 worth of stuff. They need to sell $50,000 in profit, meaning they probably have to sell, you know, like $80,000 worth of stuff a month. But then let's talk about all the other stuff. You know, the supplies, the electricity, the, the internet, uh, the back office, all this stuff. You know, these jewelry stores have to make like $80,000 a month in, in margin just to keep the doors open, the lights on. So once you understand like how much money they have to make just to stay in business, and that's not even talking about being profitable, that's just to stay in business, um, there's only one way they're gonna make the money, and that's by charging you a ton for that ring, way beyond what it costs them. You know, if they buy a ring for $2,400, that's the ring they're probably selling you for $7,500, all right? So when you understand how much something costs brand new, and then the markup that's built into it when you buy it from the jewelry store, it will kind of soften the blow a little bit when you take it to a pawn shop. And I say it that way because it is going to be a blow. All right, a pawn shop, uh, when they're buying jewelry, they're looking at a few things. Uh, they're looking at what type of metal it's made out of. Or is it gold? Is it silver? Is it platinum? They're looking at the purity of the metal. You know, if it's gold, is it 10 carat? Is it 14 carat? Is it 18 carat? Is it 22 carat? Uh, the higher the carat, the more pure it is, the more it's worth per gram, per how much it weighs. Um, then once they know what type of metal they have, they're looking at the weight of the metal. You know, is this ring three grams or is it eight grams, you know? And the heavier the ring is and the higher the purity, the more gold that's there, uh, the more they can pay you for it. And then the next thing they're looking at is any stones involved. If they're colored stones, you know, like a chocolate diamond or a black diamond uh, or a turquoise stone, those things are going to hurt you. And I know, I know, I know, you're like, oh my God, a, a black diamond? I spent so much for this. They told me it was so unique and everything. It's a scam. Um, and I'll explain it in another video, but long story short, they take really bad stones and they turn them black or, or chocolate colored. And then all of a sudden they have a new stone. Um, but they start off as uh, really dark yellow stones that were not sellable before. And then all of a sudden they are. So, uh, now, if you have just natural stones in them, you know, good diamonds, they're going to look at the, the size of the stone. They're going to look at the clarity. They're going to look at the color. They're going to see how symmetrically it's cut. And then they're going to use that stone to determine, okay, if I have eight grams of 10 karat gold, they know how much that's worth. And if they have a two karat diamond uh, that's really good quality, they know how much that's worth. And then they're going to combine those numbers to come up and figure out how much they might be able to sell that ring for or meld it for and then sell the stone for. 
and then they're going to make you an offer that's roughly 30 or 40 percent of whatever that number is. Now if you're selling it, uh, that offer might get much higher. It might be 50 or 60 percent, maybe even a little bit higher in some cases. But you know, keep in mind, they're, they're a business like anyone else. They're in this to make money, and it's not to rip you off, but just like the jewelry store who bought the ring for $2,400 to start with and then sold it to you for $7,900, they're the ones that really ripped you off to begin with. A pawn shop's just working with what the ring, with the, you know, the $2,400 new cost. They're not working with the $7,900 cost, and you might think like, oh my god, I have this appraisal that says it's worth ten grand. You know, why is a pawn shop only offering me $1,200 bucks for it? Well, uh, because the appraisal is written to protect the jewelry industry. What appraisals do is they, they're for insurance companies to cover to make sure somebody get a replacement ring if it's lost or stolen. But more importantly, it's so, it's so a jeweler can say, like, look, I'll write you this appraisal that says it's worth 10 grand, because I really think it's worth 10 grand, but I'm going to be the good guy. I'm going to cut you a real deal on it. I'm going to sell it to you for $7,900. And it's just, it's a, an appraisal is nothing more than a sales tool more often than not. It's not like an actual reflection of how much this thing is really worth. It's just, it's another gimmick they use to make you think that this ring is worth so much more money than what it what they actually paid for it. It's, it's just to protect their industry. Appraisals are just for insurance purposes. They don't really have anything to do with how much a ring is actually worth. So if you're trying to determine how much a pawn shop is going to give you for a ring, I'm going to tell you the best thing you can do is take a little soapy water, clean around the stones, maybe underneath the band, you know, get any lotion or dead skin off it or any grime or anything, and make it look shiny and new, and then take it to at least three or four different pawn shops and get offers. Because at the end of the day, everyone is going to have a different opinion of how much they can sell that diamond for. And so you may have one pawn shop that thinks like, oh, I can only sell that diamond for 500. And you may have another pawn shop that thinks, oh, I can sell that diamond for 2,500. And your offers are gonna be way different. So um, when, you're, when you're trying to get the most amount of money possible for a ring, a diamond ring at a pawn shop, don't go to just one pawn shop, go to a bunch of them. And when you're at a bunch of them, you know, you can get different offers and try and get them on paper and get all those offers the same day and before you leave, uh, make them commit to like, hey, if I come back in two hours, does this price stand? And tell them what you're doing. Tell them you're taking it around, you're shopping around. And some pawn shops may say, no, it's, it's right now or, or nothing. And if they say that, then, then just walk out. Because really, they should be able to honor the price for a day, right? There's nothing that's going to change in a day. Um, and they're just trying to push you or, or pressure you because they think you're you're hard up for money and, and, and they, it's the best offer you're gonna find. Now, you know, shop it around, get, get a bunch of offers, try and get them on paper, and then take the best offer. And that's really the best way to figure out how much a pawn shop will really offer you for your ring. And I know it's not, everyone wants me to say, your ring's worth $50, buddy, and think that like, oh, this is the best YouTube video I ever watched, but I can't. Uh, because of how many different rings there are out there. I can just give you my advice and explain the logic and I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, if you want to get more insight from what I know, uh, subscribe to the channel and you'll see my videos as they come out. All right, take it easy. Love you guys. Bye.